Tonight in NBC 15 News, Reality Check is getting results. We showed you the dramatic video of a car plowing into a Pritchard home two months ago. It wasn't the first time a speeding car has wreaked havoc on Hinson Avenue. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey joins us now live. Andrea, you took the neighbor's safety concerns to City Hall, and now leaders are taking action. Yeah, take a look at this. Uh, speed bumps are being installed now on the street, several of them, to hopefully slow drivers down and prevent crashes like this from happening again. It was a miracle no one was hurt when this truck slammed into this Hinson Avenue house back in July. We sit at this table all the time. The crash, far from a rare occurrence on this road, it was the third time a vehicle hit this home. Next door, this picture shows where a car hit the house 15 years ago. In 2011, a SUV hit and killed 82-year-old Janie Pogue while she was gardening in her front yard. Neighbors say other homes have been hit and several people have installed these safety poles to help stop cars. When they come around the curve, they speed, a lot of people speed and don't stop. And for this to happen again is unacceptable. Something needs to be done to make sure that the, the community here is safe. Now something is being done. After our report on the problem aired in July, NBC 15 News reached out to every council member and the mayor's office calling attention to the safety concerns. This week, city workers started installing speed bumps and neighbors are already noticing a difference. So far, it slowed them down. Cars been slowing and I noticed Several cars yesterday started slowing down. Slowing down and easing minds of people living on a road plagued by so many accidents. I said the guard has answered our prayers about the speed bump. Now the city just started on this project yesterday. It's not complete. The city still says it still needs to mark the speed bumps. Reporting live in Pritchard tonight, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.